to a Kamen Rider series. Some of you might have heard this story, but still, it is very interesting, so do watch it till the end. And it is a very good incident to recall and feel good about it. Kamen was then the chief minister of Thamonari. A person named Manangati worked as a peon in the old assembly accommodation. He would bring things that the members of the assembly would ask for. He was seated at Mugia Thever's room. You guys must be wondering, who is Mugia Thever? Mugia Thever was a famous politician during 1957 to 1979 in Thamonari. Once Mugia Thever told Manangati that he would go outside and bring him at least for breakfast. He had given Matnagati 100 rupees. Mukia Thever dressed up and was ready to go outside on some work. It was too late from the time Matnagati had left to buy at least. After a while, Matnagati arrived carrying a heavy load on his head. Matnagati came into Mukia Thever's room. Mukia angrily asked, I have been waiting for you and had to go outside for urgent work. Why have you delayed so much? Did it take so long to buy these? Manamati said, Sir Teller told me that he didn't have a number of aliens worth 100 rupees. I had to go to Mount Road to buy a number of aliens for 100 rupees. Couldn't find in one hotel. Had to go to multiple places for aliens cost 100 rupees. He raised his voice when he explained his difficulty in buying so many idlis. That proves his innocence. One day, Manangati had read an order and was shocked. He was in tears when he got to know that there was a government order passed that uneducated people and illiterates cannot be employed. They will be removed from their employment. After two days, Manangati came running into Mugia Therva's room. He fell on the floor and cried loudly. Mugia Thever asked Manangati why he was in tears. Manangati said such an order had been passed. His family would suffer from poverty. Asked Mugia to save him from getting unemployed. To console Manangati, Mugia asked to call Chief Minister's office so that he could inquire about the order passed. During those days, direct telephonic conversation wasn't possible. They had to inform the operator and wait until the call gets connected. Assistant at the chief minister's office would connect the call. Fortunately, the call was connected quickly to the chief minister's office. Manangati told that he was a peon at assembly accommodation. Mokaya thought the call was attended by chief minister's assistant or an operator and said, ask them when Uneducated can be a chief minister, then why not a peon? Manangati, without any change in the words, asked the chief minister, Kamaraja, when uneducated person can be a chief minister, then why shouldn't I work as a peon? Also, said Mukaya had told him to ask such a question. There wasn't any noise after that question. Within 30 minutes, three higher officials visited assembly accommodation. They reached Mukaya's room. Who called the chief minister? Manangati replied that he had called Kamaraja. Chief minister wants to meet you. Please start immediately. He then realized that he had spoken to Kamaraja. Mukaya Thever got panicky. Manangati asked Mukaya Thever to accompany him. Mukaya asked Manangati to start that and that he would join them quickly. Baker moved towards Chief Minister Kamaraja's office. With a very sad face, Kamaraja was seated on a sofa. Manangati entered the room. Higher officials stood away from the Chief Minister's room. Manangati apologized and said he had spoke un unknowingly on the phone and fell on the floor to plead to forgive him. Kamaraja doesn't like that culture. Kamaraja looked at the higher officials. They lifted Manangati and made him stand. Kamaraja asked Manangati to sit next to him. Manangati hesitated and stood away from Kamaraja. When Kamaraja stared at him hesitantly, Manangati slowly walked closer to Kamaraja and sat next to him. Kamaraja patted on Manangati's back. Kept looking at Manangati immediately with folding hands, Kamaraja apologized to Manangati that he had committed a big mistake and
and that Monangati helped him realize the mistake he committed. It's past two days your family hasn't cooked and eaten anything. You have two daughters. I just got to know that I have committed such a big mistake. Comrade just said he must have not passed in such an order. I should have been specific then henceforth. We need to recruit educated people. You don't need to worry. Manangati cried after hearing those words of Kamraj. Kamraj immediately instructed to type an order that Manangati gets his job back and signs it. Tells the officers to take Manangati to his house and let his family members know that Manangati has got his government job and that the family members need not to worry. With just a minute's thought, he instructed the officers to buy food for Manangati's family members as they had not eaten for two days. Manangati had no words to speak. With folding hands, he slowly moved out of the room. Comrade just stood up and with folding hands gave a send-off to Manangati with all respect. A poor man's sufferings were realized by another poor man. Yes. Comrade was poor. He lived for the poor and served the poor until his very last breath. Such a great man. Hoping to see many more such comrade in Tamil Nadu. Guys, I'm putting a lot of efforts to give you guys quality content. So please support me by liking, sharing my videos. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Please tap the bell icon to get notifications for the new videos. Bye!